So today on Straight Talk, we have a special guest. We have Evan Wernersbach and his mom, Melissa. Melissa just started with ISSA and GBAC, I believe. Isn't that true, Melissa? Yeah, today was my first day. First day. And it's all because of Patty Olinger, our, our executive director of GBAC. Hi, Patty. How are you? Pretty good. How are you guys today? Yeah, we're, we're all good. And we have a, a young, I guess we could say, employee of the day. Evan is with us to do some demonstrations because isn't it true, Patty, that we as an industry might need some help and guidance on use of the use of masks? Absolutely. We see masks used in so many different ways and right and wrong. And, you know, people seem to think it's so difficult. And I thought that maybe if we had somebody like Evan show us the proper way and how not to wear a mask, it might help. Okay. So, so Evan, how many years of training do you have with wearing masks? Five months. Five months. <laughs> That's cool. Five months. And and I imagine that when you first started this, yeah, mom, don't touch mom. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. When you started learning, was it pretty easy to learn how to do a mask properly, put it on, take it off and all that? Yeah, but mostly my parents did it for me. But yeah. nowadays, I just know how to do it myself. Okay, first, that's good. Did they, pay, did they pay you to, to do this? I'm not 18. I don't get paid. <laughs> We do have to be worried about the labor laws. So, so where did you, how did you learn the proper use of masks? Did you read something? I read this beautiful thing. Okay, what is that? It's the ISSA GBAC face mask practices. All right. Is that right, Patty? It's, if your, yes, mom it or it back, if your mom or dad works with the company, make sure they print it out for you. Very good. Now, we're not paying you, remember, but you keep going. That sounds like good stuff. So. Yeah. Sorry. All right. I'm going to pay for you. So, so, Evan, you're like what, 15, 16? I'm 10 years old. 10. So you, you're in school. I'm trying my best to act like I'm at least 13. Yeah. All right. Do you get good grades? Yeah. Okay. So you're probably qualified to do this demonstration. Show us what you got. Show us the mask you have and talk us through the process, what you've learned. What is that? What kind of mask? It's a meta. It's a cloth mask. It's a cloth mask. Okay. And Patty, what kind of, is this a mask we could use in the industry? It's actually just a face mask. Um, okay. What a typical face mask that you would buy um, at the store and that a lot of people are using today. Mm -hmm. You see them everywhere. So, is there another kind of mask you have there? What else do you have? Examples. Show, show us your toys. Okay, what's this what's one? What's special about this one? It adjusts. What okay. adjusts on it? The size of the, the, size the of ear there. straps. And is that why this is special, or is there something else? Well, it also has... What it's already pre-pitched. It is. It has a shape to it. Okay. You want to do it? Show us how to do it. Is this the kind? Very good. Is this the kind you wear to school? I don't go back in person until like January. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you will that be ready. Go out when we go to the store, right? That's yep. the kind of mask you would wear. Very good. Very, very oh, intense good. look you got there, Evan. So do you have another kind of mask or are we done? We have the common mask. This is a common mask. But of course, it's so freaking hard. Yeah. I, I think I have that kind myself. Yes. Have it's oh, twin. What's, what's wrong with this one? It's hard to pinch, and you have to loop the thing if you're a kid. Why? Show them. So you can stay safe. I don't even know. Okay, this is good. So what's what's wrong with that? Uh, what's mask? wrong with that mask? It's big. So is that mask made what? for everybody? No, it's only made for adults. Okay, good point. So you need to you need to have a bigger head to make that mask work. Got any advice for us, Evan? What should we know about masks? Anything from your perspective to make them better? The young inventor that you will be. Make more respirators. 
Okay. Yeah. So Evan, show them how you should or should not wear a mask. How should you not wear a mask? Hey, I'm a crazy guy who doesn't wear my mask properly. But I see everyone doing that. Walking That's around the stores, even in restaurants, I think people do that. Underneath their nose too, huh? Is there any protection with this? I suppose if you, if you talk, it'll hold back the particles, but your nose isn't covered. Right, and that's one of those really important places to cover up, um, to protect, because that's where, um, you know, a lot of the receptors for the virus are, is in our, in our nasal cavities. The worst area is down in our mouth. The worst yeah. is what? The worst area of your body is the human mouth. Yeah, if you brush ah, your teeth That's where your germs live. But the, but Evan, that's not always true. In this case, in our not in our nasal cavities is one of those areas that's really important. Also, um, our eyes, our nose, and our mouth. And those, if you talk to Dr. Gavin, Dr. Gavin will say, "Cover your holes." <laughs> he does say that. <laughs> he does say that. He probably doesn't mean the ears, but I guess it can't hurt to put in earplugs. Yeah, Dr. <laughs> Gavin okay. does say that. All right, Evan, I have one more question for you. It's a very serious question, so take off your mask so we can see your face. You've shown us that you know masks. You're an expert. You have opinions, and no doubt the mask industry will be better because of you being in it. When you grow up, are you going to be wearing masks for a living? Never. COVID will probably end by the time I'm an adult. You hope. <laughs> it probably will, but no doubt there will be other reasons to be mask savvy. So, so what do you want to be when you grow up? What, what are your plans? I don't know. Okay. Well, Patty, I think you need to put him to work when he's legal to work. That sounds can, like a plan. You can let me work in your business, just you can't pay me. <laughs> well, you can't pay me. This person can, because she's the lead of that work. <laughs> I sense right. an entrepreneur or at least a manager of something in his future. Something. Yeah. Well, Evan, listen, thank you for being here today. And if you ever learn something new about cleaning and dis disinfecting and you want to share it to our industry, you know how to reach us, okay? Well, I'm going to clean a dirty bag. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Thank you.